Hi everybody, I'm Sean Mosem, a Senior Product Manager here at AffPoint. And I'm Dan Wilkins, Product Manager here at AffPoint, and today we're here to talk to you about Smart Archiving with AffPoint Online Services. Archiving is so important for many businesses, whether you're small, medium-sized, enterprise, public sector, it's an absolutely essential thing that you need to do to make sure you can improve your own performance, to make sure you can reduce your storage costs, and to make sure you have a clean environment for your end users. One of the biggest things that affects my customers today is records management. Uh, records management is a huge topic of concern for a lot of my customers. Um, being able to actually declare records, being able to apply retention policies, then being able to delete that data from SharePoint when the time comes. Do you see this as well, Sean? Absolutely, and I think this is really important. Um, people talk about uh, using Archiver to reduce storage costs, but that's only something that's relevant on-prem, and you really hit the nail on the head. This is a huge problem whether you're on SharePoint server or SharePoint Online, and it's really the ability to get stale content out of the system quickly and easily. So whenever your users are searching for content or trying to do work, everything they're looking at is fresh and is relevant. So one of the other things that I've heard a lot is lifecycle management. Big buzzword, but what does it really mean and why is it important in SharePoint Online and SharePoint Server? Uh, it's basically creation to destruction. So being able to apply archiving policies at the start. So being able to actually apply these retention policies to content and sites that are being created. Once they've been created, actually affixing that retention policy to the end. So mm -hmm. being able to take it from creation, collaboration, manipulation, all the way to end of life and deletion and destruction. DocApp Archiver is an automated records management and archiving system that takes the burden off of IT admins to do the manual day-to-day -day tasks that are associated with storage costs, storage optimization, and records management. Um, Archiver is a great product in the fact that, again, it takes that burden off of IT while letting them actually apply policies so they can get back to fighting the everyday fires and let records management and archiving proceed as it should. One of the reasons we put this solution into AffPoint Online Services is because these problems exist in both SharePoint Server and SharePoint Online. Whether you need to archive your data to Azure, to a store simple device, and maintain long-term records management, it's a ubiquitous story across the board. And we're going to show you a demonstration of that today. Absolutely. In this demo, you're going to see why smart archiving is the choice for your business. In this example, our organization was working on a migration project with Gamma Corp. As Sean was mentioning, we set up an external collaboration site to store documents related to this project. This project is now over, and our project manager has just started the project closeout process. A project closeout letter has been sent to their partner, and the project manager has reached out to us, the IT admins, to close out the site. So we want to close out the site to eliminate, number one, partner access to this collaboration site, and number two, preventing others inside of our own company from accessing these project-specific documents done between us and our partner. However, instead of deleting this content straight away, we want to be able to archive that content for a 12-month period just in case we need to retrieve anything related to it for future interaction with this partner for reference materials and the like. So in order to take care of this, we can use DocAv Archiver to archive this site and take it offline because we don't want anybody accessing this data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into the Archiver interface from DocAv Online. And the next thing I'm going to do is set up rules to actually archive this site off. So I'm going to go to my site inside of the tree. Here it is. Here's the Project Gamma site. And what I'm going to do next is create rules to basically streamline the automation of the archiving process. So here we're going to create a rule. We're going to name it Archive Project Gamma. We're going to put in a product description here, so this way people can see how long this is going to be retained for and what it relates to. And then we're going to go to the object level to pick the site, because we want to archive this entire thing off. What we're going to do next is actually enter criteria for what we want to do here. Since we already know the URL of the project site, we'll just enter that right in and add it here. So this way we can specify that this site is going to be archived. The next thing we're going to do is set up a storage policy, so this way we can have a place to store this data off of SharePoint. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new storage policy. We're going to give it a name, and we're going to create a logical device, so this way we can set a retention period on this. So we're going to enable our retention rules. We're going to pick archive type, 
And then down here, we're going to select the length of how long we actually want to retain this information. In this case, it's 12 months. And at the end of the 12 months, we're going to want to delete this data right off. So I'm going to click OK. Then once I'm done, I could choose to either compress this data or I could add encryption over the data as it's being archived. In this case, we're just going to let it be and we're going to hit save. And we'll hit save. Now you can see that the rule is set up here. So what I can do when I'm ready, I could hit apply and run now and I could actually run this rule. Good. So those are really great points. Um, <laughs> you look at Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hand. No. All right. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three.